What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Manchester United career mode. In today's episode we have two matches, the first of which is a match against Real Madrid in the Champions League, and then later on in the episode we have a match against Tottenham Hotspur in the BPL. And we also have a squad report in the middle of the episode as well. So guys, just to quickly recap the last episode, if you haven't gone and watched it, we ended up winning 6-3 against FC Porto, which was a, a crazy match. We ended up going through to the quarters in the Champions League, 9-6 uh, on aggregate. I really underestimated Porto, and uh, maybe I, I should be getting a new goalkeeper, to be quite honest. David Dea is actually, I don't know, I like David Dea. He's a fantastic player in real life and in FIFA. But for some reason in this FIFA 15 career mode this year, he hasn't grown up in stats. And this is the second season. We're coming to the end of the second season. He hasn't gone up, which is disappointing. I thought he would have had a, a, an explosive growth. So maybe we're better off uh, buying a new goalkeeper maybe next season or the year after. Maybe someone like Courtois or, I don't know, Stegen maybe. Um, so the second match, oh, well, the, the goal scorers in that match was uh, Cristiano Ronaldo picked up man of the match. Two goals. Vidal put the nail in the coffin and ended up scoring two in the final hours, um, minutes rather said, and uh, Mata ended up picking up one as well. Then later on in that episode we had another match uh, in the Champions League. We had our first match against Real Madrid and we ended up winning 4-3. So this is where we're going to be continuing on from. We have the second leg. We are one one goal up on aggregate, but um, yeah, my defense has been letting in a lot of goals, but then I've been scoring a lot of goals in retrospect. And in that first match, Wayne Rooney ended up picking up the man of the match, and uh, two goals, Cristiano Ronaldo picked up the other one as well. So a good result, in hindsight, I guess. Hmm. Curious. Anyway, um, but yeah. Uh, where are the, I was just looking at my phone, sorry. I, I was distracted. Okay, so uh, Alaba there managed to whip it away. And then he also put a through ball into Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, one-on-one. -on -one at Old Trafford. You know what's going to happen. He's going to put it into the bottom right against his former club to make it 5-3 on aggregate and hopefully put us through to the... Uh, the quarterfinals. Now that black guy in the background was being absolutely ballistic. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that. I didn't just noticed that then. But Ronaldo there puts it past Casillas. And what a fantastic goal from Ronaldo. Nice. He was cool. He was calm. And he was composed. And uh, the goalkeeper had no chance. But Bale got set through here. And in very much the same position. I don't know what was happening with David De Gea. He kept on spilling the balls all over the place. But Kadira manages to throw ball his former Real Madrid teammate Ronaldo and once again Ronaldo is one on one with Casillas. He puts it into the bottom left to make it 2-0, a quite comfortable uh, goal there. Like we split the defense there, Real Madrid were pushing too many players forward from that attack from Bale. Thank God they ended up missing, but Ronaldo puts it into the bottom left and uh, being modest to score against his former club. But what an amazing through ball here from Wayne Rooney. Like these three balls were just going in. So we managed to uh, be a little bit ambitious. I wanted Ronaldo to get his hat trick. And he did. Makes it 3-0 against Real Madrid. And obviously we have stolen a lot of Real Madrid players. Obviously Ronaldo, Kadira. Uh, we also have... Uh, who, are we, who am I missing? Di Maria. That's who I'm thinking. But look how much... Look how like, crazy this through ball was. And uh, I was lucky to get a shot off. If I probably cut back, I probably wouldn't have scored there. But Casillas came too far out. And we shot it across the face. There was no way he was going to get to it. So Real Madrid are a, a form of echo of what they were. They're not the Real Madrid I'm playing with at the moment who has a crazy, crazy squad and has crazy squad depth. But uh, these through balls were just absolutely just going ham. But Ronaldo gets a ball from Adnan who plays it to Ander Herrera running down the wing. Ander Herrera whips it in. Ronaldo to get his fourth goal. But unfortunately the shot does go uh, the cross goes wide and Ronaldo didn't pick up his fourth goal. But Sergio Aguero comes off the bench for Robert Lewandowski. So it's interesting to see that Aguero actually plays for Real Madrid in this career mode. I also signed him in mind. And they nearly started off the scoring there for Real Madrid. But a comfortable 3-0 win. Ronaldo picking up a hat-trick. And I'm sure the Real Madrid... Uh, board is <laughs> very upset of selling him. Uh, especially Ancelotti. But uh, we do have the squad report in this episode, guys. So, as you see there, David De Gea hasn't gone up in stats. He's an 83 overall, which is disappointing. Phil Jones has gone up a plus one. Matt Hummels is an 89 overall. Ridiculous, I know. 
Alaba has gone up a plus two, 23 years of age. He is, he's an 87 overall. He's nearly better than some of my midfield players. <laughs> Ridiculous. Next, you can play the center defensive mid and midfield. Sammy Kadira has gone up a plus two. He's an 87 overall, 29 years of age, four goals, six assists. Absolutely incredible in the midfield with Vidal this season. Like I said, I actually bought him to those. Yeah, I was not really too fussed about him. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll play him a little bit. If he's all right, I'll use him. If not, I'll just sell him off for profit. He's been absolutely fantastic. I'm just absolutely befuddled. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo has gone plus one as well. Absolutely fantastic. 44 goals in all competitions this season. Seven assists. Zaha is going up a plus one, and a Herrera as well. Daily Blind is going up a plus one as well. Scuffet is going up a plus one. Um, for some reason, he hasn't been loaned out. He has a really good potential. He should be playing every single match, but obviously we've got De Gea in goal, and uh, he's obviously a higher rated and better. But uh, we might be, I don't know, rotating with Scuffet a little bit more. Gaston Ramirez hasn't gone up any. Chris Smalling's got a plus two. Fellaini is still at the club. But now we have a match against Tottenham. Now I just want to quickly read out the Champions League group, uh, the 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 uh, the, uh, the, ra the quarterfinals, because we don't know what the semis are just yet. Um, so we ended up winning against Real Madrid. So the other um, quarters that were going on was the Juventus versus Manchester City. Chelsea versus Tottenham Hotspur. And PSG versus AC Milan. So, I guess we got the hardest draw there, obviously, versus Manchester City, Chelsea, or PSG, or even Juventus. Yeah, no, no, that's not, that was a very, not very accurate. It wasn't the hardest team. But um, we do have a match against Tottenham here, and uh, after that week in the Champions League to put us into the semi-finals of the Champions League, we were really confident, and we're really happy to get back in the Premier League and score some goals. But I just, I just feel that David De Gea is uh, letting us down a lot here. Like, he should have had his hand to that. He manages to spill it back to the Tottenham Hotspur player and makes it 1-0 at White Hart Lane. Ronaldo on the ball here trying to get something back. He has a shot on and uh, nearly cuts it across the face from Lloris. But Mata finds Sammy Kadira and Sammy Kadira gets in a pretty decent situation. I do believe it was offside in the end. But David De Gea nearly concedes a second goal here. I, I don't think it's my defense. It's, it's David De Gea one-on-one -on -one at the moment. He just obviously one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper is a bad situation to be put in. But I feel like he should be saving chances more so uh, than anything. But um, Tottenham Hotspur do get a red car, a card here yeah, just before the 65th minute. So they are 1-0 down and they are 1-0 up. He ended up tackling one Mata who uh, looked like he nearly broke his arm there. <laughs> very, very dangerous tackle. Get in there, Mata. And uh, Rooney manages a through ball and a Herrera. The Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper, uh, the player, uh, well, we, we faked him. We waited. But Daly Blind's shot was really off target. Uh, but Cristiano Ronaldo there should have put that one in the back of the net. The goalkeeper saved quite comfortably. But in the 90th minute, Ronaldo threw on goal. He's getting jostled by every single Tottenham Hotspur player. The shot gets off, but uh, the, it got crumbled to Royce, and we couldn't see him to score anything. And we had a last-ditch corner, and the header got saved. So very disappointing stuff to lose 1-0 against Tottenham. We definitely deserve to at least get one goal back. If it wasn't a win, it should have been a draw. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video to support my channel and this series, and I'll be bringing out more career mode tomorrow for you guys. Thank you once again. Goodbye.